Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the R16 Supreme Championships Global Tournament on Strife TV. Look who we have here. Miss Lee. This is the final edition of the show, so check out what happened at the World Finals. First of all, congratulations to Math and Monkeys for winning this year's R16 2012. Woo! Woo! Yeah, they're the first uh, American crew to take R16! Took it back to the home where it was born! Yeah! Woo! I'm from Canada. So, some of the surprises that came out this weekend was B-Boy Issei from Foundation Japan and Friday there was a jam for two B-Boys to enter for the World Championship. Open qualifiers. Issei was one of them. Issei and Blue were the two B-Boys that made it. If you don't know who Issei is, Issei is a 15-year-old B-Boy from Japan, from Foundation Crew, who is pretty relatively new on the scene. He, although he did win the Young Kids Battle in Shell's Battle Pro, he just came out of nowhere entering the qualifiers this year in R16 at Korea, then went onto the world stage defeating Hongtan, Blue, and Rocks right in the finals. Bring the system! Out of nowhere! <laughs> Where did it come from? Japan. Japan. <laughs> Controversy about that battle, maybe because uh, he had a really ill power style, average foundation, but the originality judge gave him a perfect and original last round, so a little bit of heat about that. Also, this year, we had Simple System come back. They won their battle in uh, R16 Central Asia in Kazakhstan. Yeah. And last year, they only made it to the quarterfinals, but this year, they were in the final battle with Massive Monkeys. They actually defeated R16 West Europe winners Team Schmetter in the first round, which was a crazy battle. They defeated Flomo, who was a special invite, and then went against Massive Monkeys in the finals. The hypest battle of the night goes to... Jinjo versus Massive Monkeys! Yeah, it wasn't even the final battle. It was in the semi-final battle. Jinjo was a two-time defending champion, coming back to defend their title for the third time. Massive Monkeys has been not on the world battling stage for a, a while, for a, a few years already, but they just came back and just took everything by surprise. This time, Massive Monkeys had three heavy hitters. They had Twix, Drumski, and Thesis all on their side. All on the same team, all on one team, three heavy hitters. Whereas Jinjo only had Wing as their major heavy hitter. They didn't have Hongton competing them this year, which could have made a big difference because they needed someone to answer to Twix's uh, dynamic style as huge, gigantic blow up. Yeah. yeah. Instead, it was the other way around where every time Wing would go out, Twix was answering to Wing. Although three judges went for Massive and only one went for Jinjo, it was still a really close battle. Foundation and originality were actually only one point off. Dynamics was tied and battle was two points off. The B-boy of the night has to go to Thesis because that guy, he was doing the solo, he was in the routines. He had the most floor time actually in the whole entire battles. Right? He really held it down and uh, it's part of the reason why Massive Monkeys made it all the way over here. Which leads us to the fail of the weekend. In 2011 at R16 with Thesis where there was an issue or an incident at the hotel room and also with some of the staff. It resulted in Thesis getting a five-year ban from R16 in 2011. And just this year, uh, Thesis, well, he sincerely apologized, spoke with the organizers of R16, worked everything out and he came back after winning R16, promising that this will never happen again. Now let's take a look at this video. Pew! <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Wait, let's say that again. What is he doing? Why? So that's it. So why thesis? Why? Now it is a big thing and we have to report on this and now you can't come back to R16. <laughs> why thesis? You were the MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Another big bad result in this is all the damages that incurred from in the hotel will be minus from Massive Monkey's winnings. Oh. And it wasn't just the extinguisher, it was the cleaning and a lot of other guests on that floor were not happy. Yeah, so we had, we had to pay for all the hotel rooms on that floor where everyone complained. When you guys are traveling abroad, you know, 
you guys are representing B-Boys. It has a big impact on the organizers. These guys work really hard to create a good name for B-Boys. Next time you go out to drink, and it might seem like a good idea now, but maybe not when you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of controversy online that's going on right now is about Orb and Vorn's judging. Okay, so we have to appreciate the fact that these B-boys have agreed to use the hour system and allow for transparency for the viewers and for everyone to see what they're actually judging on. They've actually looked at the standards and they, they know what they're doing. We gotta chill with the disrespect against all these judges online, you know what I mean? Like, I know it's transparent, you can see what they're judging on, but if you're not gonna do constructive criticism, then, yo, don't say these bad things at all. Come on, we're a community here, you're making things look bad. The more constructive criticism that you guys give, the better we can make it for next time. But the more hateful comments that you, you fill, the more you're killing hip-hop! It's peace, love, unity, and respect. Oh, and having fun, not peace, love, unity, and HATE! Another controversy, Jinjo is a three-time show winners again. But another crew that came up out of nowhere and killed the show was Team Schmetta from Belgium. They completely blew the show away when the scores came back from the show. Jinjo and Team Schmetta was tied 41 to 41 points. So we called back the judges in. We asked them, who would you pick out of the two? Three judges voted for Jinjo, or Born and Abstract. Two for Team Schmetta. Chico and Ken Swift. So some of the audience were like, we love Team Schmetta. And the thing is that these scores determine not only who has the best show and walks away with $3,000 extra dollars, but it also determines the place of the brackets. Because right now it's set up that the best showcase usually goes up with the lowest scored showcase. And it goes on from there. And the second best showcase battles the second worst showcase. And the third best showcase battles the third worst showcase. And the fourth place battles fifth place. But it does not guarantee that the best crews will be like, you know. So, question is, should we just take the two crews that we want to see in the finals and no matter what happens, put them in opposite brackets? You decide. You! So question for you guys is, if you guys could choose which judges judge which category, who would you choose for foundation, originality, dynamics, execution, and battle? Remember, it's for the world final, so choose who you think is the best of the best judge or best of the best representative for each of those perspectives. Yes. And in case you guys have not seen these videos, you guys should definitely check out the solo intro and the crew intro. Right here. Just so you know, Mason did an amazing job with the crew intros. He did all of that in a matter of two days, filming and editing. No sleep. As well as Tony from Style to All. They were filming and editing all day for that, including waiting for the winner of the one-on-ones and filming them and including them in solar intros. Also, you guys should definitely check out Yak's film. They did a really great job covering the event. Their trailer is really dope. You guys should definitely check it out. BAM! BAM! Special shout outs to Strife TV with Toronto now. I mean, for a while the battles are happening, filming, taking the scores, putting it up online, you know, editing it, and sending it out the same freaking night. Just so people can go on and complain. And complain and fight with each other and call people dirty names. Just for you guys to do that stupid stuff. So, shout out. <laughs> That's it. You guys need to stay tuned for the next R16 in 2013. This year we had 17 eliminations all around the world. Next year we're trying to go to 20 or more. So, stay tuned for next year. And thank you, this concludes this year's R16 2012 recap. Peace. Peace. Woo! Party! Oh no, the papers, let's clean up. And the last shout out goes to John Jay, Charlie, and the staff at Cartel Creative for putting on another great R16 this year. So everyone, just you know, just more respect for the judges. We'll you know what I mean? Respect for like the hard work that's being put in. Respect for the dancers that are dancing. And if you really want to point fingers, start locking. And we will go. Start locking. Why? He did it. His fault. The system. Why?
Ugh! <sighs>